In this video, we will delve into One Piece Chapter 1092 spoilers. This spoiler has been confirmed by Red Own, one of the most trusted leakers. In the previous chapter, the Marines initiated their invasion of Egghead Island. Their forces clashed with numerous sea beast monsters and the formidable pacifist of Mark III. Furthermore, the intense showdown between Kizaru and Sentamaru concluded with victory for the Admiral. As Chapter 1091 came to a close, we witnessed Luffy kick Kizaru. So what happened in Chapter 1092? One Piece Chapter 1092 is titled The Tyrant's Rampage and Mary Joa Incident, delivers a thrilling revelation that shakes the foundations of the story. This chapter showcases the return of Bartholomew Kuma to Mary Joa, where he takes the stage in a dramatic and unexpected fashion. Previously, Kuma was at the Revolutionary Army headquarters after Sabo, and the other commanders rescued Kuma at Mary Joa. However, in a surprising turn of events in Chapter 1072 Kuma seemingly lost consciousness and employed the powers of his devil fruit to teleport back to Mary Joa. While we knew Kuma's objective was to return to this celestial dragon-infested territory, the true nature of his intentions remained shrouded in mystery. Chapter 1092 unravels this enigma, revealing that Kuma's return is not as a compliant slave, but as a force of chaos determined to wreak havoc upon the Holy Land. The chapter begins with Kuma's relentless rampage, as he systematically obliterates several structures in Mary Joa. His actions are emblematic of a burning desire to dismantle the world order that has oppressed him for so long. This sudden transformation of a once heroic figure into an agent of destruction serves as a powerful reminder of the complex character development that One Piece is known for. In this chaotic backdrop, Admiral Akainu, the formidable wielder of the Magma Magma Fruit, makes his entrance. Akainu, ever the stalwart defender of the world government's interests, confronts Kuma to put an end to his destructive spree. Using the immense power of his devil fruit, Akainu seeks to halt Kuma rampage, setting the stage for a high-stakes showdown between two formidable opponents. Meanwhile, on Egghead Island, Luffy is locked in a fierce battle with Admiral Kizaru. This confrontation marks a significant shift from their previous encounter before the time skip when the Straw Hat Pirates were ill-prepared to challenge an admiral's might. However, Luffy's declaration that he has grown 100 times stronger underscores the tremendous strides and power he has made since then. In Chapter 1092 Luffy unleashes his Snake Man form, a transformation renowned for his speed. This choice reflects Luffy's strategic acumen as he recognizes the need for agility to counter Kizaru's incredible speed, stemming from his light-type devil fruit. Despite his improved combat prowess, Luffy finds himself momentarily outpaced, and Kizaru lands a devastating kick that underscores the Admiral's formidable abilities. However, the chapter concludes on an electrifying note as Luffy unveils his trump card, Gear 5. As Luffy activates this mysterious form, the island resonates with the drums of liberation, rekindling the ancient Roba's dormant consciousness. This development ignites hope as it hints at the possibility that the ancient robot may become a valuable ally for both the Straw Hats and Vegapunk. 